in this video we're going to focus on to create a tooltip or basically do we have a tooltip yes or no if we do have it we don't have to create it but we can get the tooltip else we need to create the tooltip so you might say why do we need to create a tooltip well if you render a chart for the first time it needs to load and it also needs to load probably the tooltips that we need to create so we're not really going to create tooltips we're going to create diff elements in there but we need to first check if it exists yes or no all right so you have here the trigger yes or no and then you go basically this exists goes in here we will trigger this function here and this function will start to work on it all right so to do this we have this here this console was not working anyway so we can ignore that one for now but here we have this and uh what we have here is the constant of the tooltip element all right and this is a variable but also a function at the same time so it will push this in here so what we want to do here is we're going to say here new constant and what's the constant name well get or create a tooltip check do we have a tooltip yes or no and if no we have to create one so then we say here this equals and then we put in here the parameter and the parameter for this one is the chart itself that we have here and then we say here the arrow expression function or the arrow function expression meaning that we're going to create a function with uh, for this and this function will do the following first of all it says let to grab the tooltip here if ever we have it so we say equals chart dot canvas dot parent node dot query selector div all right so what's going on here so you might say what's this all right we're going to say here the new tooltip will be chart.canvas parent node and then we search the parent of the div so here's the, the question what is the parent of the query of div if we're going to create a div which we will and basically this will be the div eventually but right now it's not you need to check are you existing does it exist and if the answer is no because that's why we're searching here we're searching for something here so let me check here if we can maybe find anything if you hover over all right we get stuff as you can see we're starting to get stuff here but do we see any diff here no nothing at all so we get stuff but we don't see the diff so then chart.js is saying or we're getting a response in javascript says sorry we cannot find this this doesn't exist at all all right so if it does not exist that is not a problem all we need to do is the following you say if we're going to make an if statement if no tooltip element if that is true or if there's no tooltip element we're going to create yes remember when we trigger the first one we need to create it and then basically the canvas is the parent node the parent node of div is canvas it's the canvas tag here and i will show you later on how we can check that so then we have this then we say we grab the tooltip we say the tooltip equals document dot get element by oh sorry is that that's not sorry that's not document got element it's document create element and then single quotations and i put in here caps box div all right so it's very simple do we have any no we cannot find any all right then we need to create the element so if we do this then basically we could append this if we would append this to the child then it will eventually work so so what we have to do here we have a div and basically you don't only have a div here so basically i'm going to show you what we're going to make here we say the div because if then you're going to give this a class for the css later on this will be our css class and then another div here they and then we have this here wait i'll just put in comment out so it won't give me any suggestions here tab then what i want to do here is an unordered list Closing unordered list. So an, another tab and here class uh, anything whatever it will be here ABC. So that's what we're going to do here. And this needs to be eventually inserted into the canvas so that in the canvas we will see this uh, canvas and canvas closing. That's what we really want to see. all right and this would be then this all indented one more time 
This is basically what we're doing in JavaScript language. Instead of HTML, we do it in JavaScript by checking here. So this would probably make a bit more visual sense. So what are we going to do here? So we created here this div. We have this div here. All right. Then what I want to do in here, I want to grab here and I want to add the class. So we say here dot. And then we have to check here what's the class list. All right. So we say class list dot add to add a class list. And quotation is a string. And then in here, I'll just give it very simple, a tool tip design. So this is our class. And once we have this one here, we want to still also add this one. And later we need to append this here. And this will be appended in here. So we say here the following. And I'm going to give this another item. And this item will be the tooltip on order list. Tooltip ul dot. Oh, sorry, equals. And this will say here, almost similar to this, because we're going to create a new document or a new element. So the document dot create element quotation unordered list. And then we can say here as well, let's add up a class on here. So we can almost grab this. And I'll just uh, grab here the UL, remember, because we need to pinpoint the class in here. The UL, the tooltip UL, add class list. And here, just I will just say your tooltip ul. I'll just make this small, small letter. That's fine. Tooltip ul. All right. So once we have this one, what we need to do is we need to append this. So what is append? Append means attach. So we attach the child to the parent, meaning that this is basically what we're talking about. This here is the parent of this, and this would be basically the grandparent of this one. So that's the child, child. But in essence, it would be the parent. This is the parent of this. Very important. So you understand this, and I covered the other video of that one as well. However, here, we're going to do this now. So what we're going to do here is the following. Let's append first the, this one to this one here. So we say here, I'm going to say here, append, append to parent. And then we say here, tooltip dot, and then we can say here, append so oh, sorry append child what is the child of two tip el which is this one this is the two tip el well that is the unordered list so that's the two tip ul this is not a string it's a variable remember this is a constant variable or a variable itself so don't adjust that one all right so once we did that that's number one but of course we didn't yet add any div to our canvas which we need to do here so what are we going to do here is basically this since we cannot pinpoint the canvas like this we need to say we want the parent node or so basically what we're talking about these are notes these are all considered notes this is a note and this is a note and then there's even there would be a text called the text note that's later on by the way we will we'll figure that one out or so you will see this so since we are not able to specify exactly the canvas we'll just say we want the parent of this we grab the parent of that, put it in there. All right. So we say we're going to grab this and say dot append child on the tooltip. So basically, the tooltip element, tooltip el, will be appended on the canvas. Or we're going to look for the parent of this one, which is the canvas. So we will append it on there. So that's basically what we're doing here. So once we have this, we're almost done. And then we have one of the complicated parts done. That's the first one of it. And then we say return tooltip el. All right. And here, pretty braces. And there we are. So what we could do here, for example, just for the sake of it, we can say here console log. And let's grab here now the parent here, a chart canvas parent node, or I guess this we could get. Save that and refresh. All right, oh, unexpected token on number 70. Of course, sorry, these are all no, not necessary because we already have them, I already had them up. All right, so now we hoop over. Look what, what happens. We hoover over. We see here now the canvas. Can we find the item as well? We have the canvas, so let's see if we can get maybe the parent note. Because I want to see if we can find the div here. Move it over. All right, there we are. 
now you can see we have the div which is in the canvas itself or it's somewhere in there where exactly to be honest i can't say i guess it's it's oh sorry no this is correct the chart box is here the canvas is here and then we have here this div i guess the div right now is somewhere down here which is all right so basically it is in here but also not it's just beside each other which is fine we're going to play around with that because let's let's play around with this a little bit i want to make sure that you see it because maybe you, you say well i don't see it yet so let's get this class here we have this class here and this is why we did this here you go in here dot you say your background color let's give it black and then what we need to do is we need to give it a fixed height and width so we say width 10 pixels height 10 pixels save refresh now we have it all right of course it doesn't go away yet why we didn't hide the tooltip if mouse out we didn't do that yet we'll do that later on what i want to do is eventually i want to do the css first because i know that this will become a problem if we don't do it uh, after this because it will be then better positioned so that will be next thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in chart.js check out in the description box the link directing to my chart.js course where you can learn everything about chart.js and finally of course make sure you subscribe to my channel